Well, Tropical Storm Gordon skirted the coast of Baldwin County, kicking up surf and sending sand and water where it shouldn't be. News 5's Debbie Williams and photojournalist Randy Lowe were all over the coast last night. Where, Debbie, we had some of the most spectacular footage of what was Tropical Storm Gordon. Absolutely. We wanted to come back here to Perdido Pass and the seawall because of the intensity of the storm last night when we were here and show you that everything is fine. It's all nice and calm here at this hour. There were a couple of other places that we wanted to check out too. Tropical storm Gordon slammed the seawall with waves and wind. And while it looked dramatic, city officials say it's none the worse for wear. The seawall withstood the beating and only minor repairs are needed. Earlier in the day, we saw those 8 to 10 foot waves crashing into Gulf State Park Pier. We're told it did blow out half a dozen or so deck panels towards the end of the pier. That too was handled pretty quickly and this afternoon the gates were open and so was the pier. In Gulf Shores, they're digging out. Gulf Place at the public beach front and center during the storm left with a coating of Gulf water and beach sand. The job now, getting the beach sand back where it belongs. The parking lot's already free of sand, and while the weather has improved and beachgoers are returning, it will be later in the week before there is a better assessment of how long it will take for everything to be back in order. And things are getting back to normal here on the coast. The double red flags continue to fly on all Baldwin County beaches today. That means the Gulf waters are closed. That's expected to change tomorrow. On the Baldwin County beat in Orange Beach, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.